Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella. And in today's video, since it is officially the spring season, I'm going to start redecorating all the spaces throughout my home. First, starting off in the entryway space. I'm going to be sharing with you guys four different ways you can style your entryway table for the spring season. It's going to be a little simple, but we're still gonna have those soft touches throughout that push it in the spring direction. So I hope you guys get lots of decorating ideas and inspiration, and let's get right into our first styling today. So starting off, of course, I'm going to be using my go-to Pottery Barn vase. This one just has so much beautiful texture in it, and I love the color tone as well. And our first styling today is going to be very simplistic. I got these little cherry blossom stems from Michael's last year. We're going to keep it super, super simple for this one. But just a quick note, when you get your faux floral stems for the first time, they're going to be standing very, very straight. What you want to do is actually bend them in all sorts of directions. Try to avoid our harsher angles, but just give it a little bit more life. Branches in real life are not perfectly straight, so you don't want yours to be either. And I like to fold them up so that way the front stem is always going to be shorter than the ones I have on the sides and the back. And once you have everything already arranged in, you can change the direction of some of them, but it just gives a much more realistic look to not have everything sticking perfectly straight up. I love adding faux book boxes to my decorating. These are super fun because you can actually store stuff in it. There are so many different kinds available. All of mine I had previously gotten from House and Home when Skye had her shop open, but I will try to find some similar to this and other options as well for you. Now we're going to add in this bunny. This was actually the one I had recently picked up from Hobby Lobby, actually. He used to be gray, and I just wanted to warm him up a little bit. I actually took some beige and brown paint and gave him a paint wash and wiped it off, and I felt like it still wasn't dark enough, so I actually took some antiquing wax to just make him warmer, make him this beautiful brown color, and it just ties in so much better than the stark gray and white that he once was. And for the last touch on the side, I'm actually going to be taking one of the easels that I had gotten. This is that pack that is sold in two on Amazon. It comes in this black color as well as gold. And I'm going to be adding in this digital download of this lady sitting with some flowers, which is perfect for the spring season. For our next arrangement, I'm actually going to be putting it in the center because this one is going to be on the larger side of things. I'm going to be doing what we had done in my master bedroom for early spring, which is a mixture of the twig and leaf stems from Hobby Lobby, as well as the snowball hydrangea ones. At this point in time, I don't think you guys are going to be able to get your hands on them. So I will try to find some on Etsy that are still available and have them linked in the video description.
now I'm going to be using another set of book boxes that I have. These have a beautiful green color. You could technically use them all year round, but I just love what they add to the space. These bunnies are from Target last year. I put some European gold rub and buff on them. I will have some similar ones from Amazon linked in the video description. The gold tray is also older from Target. It has been recently restocked, so I will have it linked. And the ribbed candle is from World Market. For our next arrangement, I'm going to be using a mixture of two different stems. I have these white ones as well as pink ones from Michaels. My gut instinct is to want to only do white, but I know so many of you guys love pops of color. So I'm trying to make sure I bring that into the mix of things. It also gives a more realistic look sometimes to have more than one color because in nature things mix depending on how acidic your soil is and everything you find that a lot with like hydrangeas and lilacs so i wanted to be able to give you guys something that would be a more realistic approach but also keep it simple keep it fun and light for the spring season as well And on the side, I'm going to add these floral faux book boxes. They are older from House and Home. We'll try to find these or something similar to Link. And then a realistic decor element that's a great idea is take one of these misters and put them on as well. This one is not functioning. It's got a big crack down the side, but... It's just one of those items, if you did have a functioning one, it would look really pretty, especially if you like to decorate with real florals. But it also looks good and it doesn't look out of place as a decor element as well. And to finish out this styling, I'm adding the same gold tray from earlier, as well as this ribbed pink candle I recently picked up at Home Goods. Now for this last styling, I really, I have been obsessed with this riser. I had shared this in my Golden Oldies antique shopping video actually, and it's just so unique. I've never seen a riser 
that is round but has these little details on the side and I just I'm obsessed with it and I want to put it everywhere so I'm going to actually raise up the vase here and normally when I decorate our entry table I like to do three separate segments for it but because this is so large it's gonna crowd the table if I do three so I'm just going to do two but this is just so so pretty now our last arrangement is going to be the most full statement one. I love layering in different stems. It just gives so much dimension to the arrangement. These lawn leaf eucalyptus stems are my go-to. They are from Kirkland's and they just look so good with everything I put them with and I absolutely love them. So we're gonna start off with those as a base. And next, we're going to be adding in these blackberry stems. These are from A Floral. I love them. They were a splurge for sure. I think they are still on sale though as I'm filming this. 100% worth it in my opinion. I think that these just look so incredibly pretty. And I love to use them for both spring and summer. I've put them in the basket hanging on my wall just as a statement on its own. But I love to layer them in with other florals too. It looks pretty just like this as well. But um, we're going to add in another pop of color by using the mauve and beige Cosmo stems from Hobby Lobby. I really love to mix both colors when I'm styling with them. It just gives more dimension and realism like I was mentioning earlier, mixing in the peonies. I just love how it looks. So these are gonna be a very subtle pop of color. I'm only using four of them because I don't want this to feel overwhelming. We are still early in that spring season. So not everything has bloomed just yet. So we're just doing this in a very, very delicate way, but still adding a lot of depth and dimension. Now I'm going to add some height using these two coffee table books. And to those, I'm going to be adding that bunny that I shared in the first styling that I gave a little refresh to from Hobby Lobby. And lastly, adding this antique candle holder that I found with that ribbed candle from World Market. So that is going to wrap up today's video, friends. I sure hope you enjoyed and got some decorating ideas and inspiration for how you can style your entryway spaces for the spring season. Be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know which of the stylings I shared today was your favorite. I always love hearing your guys' thoughts and opinion on things. As always, thank you so much for hanging out with me here today and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.